All right. So let's go to some scenarios here. In the last demo session yesterday, we discussed uh, some points like, uh, you know, what is database administration? What is the difference between development and <clears throat> administration? Those points we already discussed in the yesterday's session. Okay. No? So coming to next step. Basically, you know, this concept, database administration concept, pure supporting role. Okay. So there is no other scenario. Like, for example, writing queries, writing programs, these are all not required for an administrator. <clears throat> but see, some part of the development is really required for administrator because we are going to handle performance issues okay so there we need some part of the sql developer that also we are going to discuss in this training so you no need to worry about that part as well okay all right coming to uh next scenario now <clears throat> let's go to next step as i told you in yesterday's class for example Here, what happens, you know, this is your client place. Client means generally, most of the cases we will be working with the US clients only, no doubt. Okay, no? So whatever the databases, database servers we are going to work, they will be there in the client place. So your DBA, you are going to sit in your office. Okay. But here, what happens, you know, they're going to provide you some ticket to learn. Like, see how you connected to this class today? By using uh, <clears throat> Zoom meeting. So what is Zoom meeting? Zoom meeting is a meeting tool, I mean, which can be used to attend the meetings and record the sessions, everything. That is the purpose of Zoom meeting, basically. Right, guys? So in the same way, now... Tickets purpose. We we use some ticket tool concept. And uh, Wahida, you are new to this session because you missed yesterday's session. I'll give you some background of what is the ticket. Generally, what happens, you know, users will be there. These users are going to interact with the databases, database servers. When they are working with the databases and database servers, what happens, you know, they face some issues, right? So then they will highlight them to the DBA team in the form of ticket. Ticket means what the error message we are receiving from the client that is known as ticket. That is the point. Simple logic. So now <clears throat> coming to next scenario. I will give you some scenario related to this training as well. So now <clears throat> you are attending this training. Okay. So in this case, for example, you are using this go to meeting, sorry, Zoom meeting tool. So you are trying to connect to class. It is working fine. So then you feel uh, happy and there will be no other issue. Right, guys. But some scenario, you are trying to connect to meeting. You are facing some issues. Then what you do, tell me. You will call, go to um, Durga's up to team. <clears throat> and you will request them to resolve the issue. Right. So this is the point. 
coming to next scenario. Coming to next scenario, in this case, you are taking some help from Durga Saptati to connect it to class. Why you are taking help? Because this Zoom meeting is not working. There is some issue which is unknown to you, right? That is unknown issue to you. No doubt at all. Okay, na? So, coming to next scenario, if user, you are working with some database means some project will be there. The project related users are going to interact with your databases, right? In that scenario, what happens, you know, they are facing any, sometimes connection issues and sometimes not able to connect to database, this type of issues. Okay. So now, you are going to raise a ticket to DBA. So they are going to resolve it. So this is what you are missing. Not exactly, <clears throat> but, but this type of activity you are going to perform. Right. So in this scenario, what is happening, you know, now, We will work with different priorities tickets and the priority means what happens, you know, some SLA will be there, service level agreement that is between your company and your client. See here, important thing is, for example, you enrolled for this training. Okay, now. So, they have promised it like uh, we are going to complete this training within five weeks of the time. That is SLA between you and the institute for this training. Okay, now. See, if within five weeks training is not complete, then what happens? Tell me. You will escalate it. Am I right or not? Okay, no? right and this is SLA agreement. This is agreement. Right. So now the thing is. Same way we are going to receive some tickets from the client. We'll work with those uh, scenarios and we'll close them. If we're not closing them, what happens? They will escalate it. <laughs> Simple as it. They will escalate it. So this is what the task. This is what the scenario. Okay, so now coming to next scenario, we are going to work with SLS. I mean, what is SLA? What type of SLS generally we follow? That, that thing also I will explain clearly. Because see, technical part is important and I'm accepting, but along with the technical part, process is also important, right? You are technically strong, but you don't know the process. How can you work in real-time environment? Am I right or not? So you need to concentrate on each and every scenario, every area. Okay. So now, 
coming to next step. Let's go to priorities of the tickets. Number one. P1 priority. See, these are not standard. These things will be varied based on your organization or based on your client. Okay, no? But whatever. I know. I have experience. I am sharing them. Most of the cases, same thing will be there. Okay, no? Right. P1 ticket you received. Immediate resolution required. Okay, no? You have to resolve this ticket immediately. Next, P2. If you receive P2 ticket, you can wait for, I mean, you can resolve it within 48 hours of the term. 48 hours. Within that time, you need to resolve. In the same way, P3 ticket, <clears throat> you can take a, Four days time for the resolution. P4 ticket, you can take it one week time for the resolution. Now the question is, Bapre, uh, if you are receiving P1 tickets, uh, then we have to resolve it immediately. Immediate resolution means how to do because just now only we are learning course. You don't worry about that. In real time, whatever the issues or tickets we are going to receive, most of those tickets will be covered in this training. Got it? We are going to work with them. You don't worry about that. But only thing from your end is required like, you know, practice. You have to practice. This is really important for us. Because what type of activity we are going to do here? Issue resolution. It is all. It is always like you know practical oriented only. No doubt at all. So when it is practical oriented, definitely we need the practical knowledge, guys. Okay, right. And most of the cases, what happens? You know, we are going to receive same type of tickets. Almost same resolution will be there. It's not, it's not like development. See, if you're going for a development, what happens when every day you're going to receive different logics, different requirements. According to the requirement, you have to develop the code. Right? So these things, that is completely different environment. Okay? Right? So now, coming to next scenario. Yep. Yeah. I'll give you some example. What two examples I'll provide? One is for regular activity, one is for performance tuning. Because I already told you what is the prerequisite for SQL database administration means then development knowledge. Some more development knowledge is required for us. So why we need development knowledge for SQL DBA? Because you are not going to write any code, right? Then why you need? So this is also really important for us. Let's see that now. Suppose today you received some ticket. What is the ticket? The ticket is uh, like, for example, connection issue. You are trying to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. You are trying to connect to SQL Server. You are getting 10856 error. The reason for this issue is Invalid login and a password. Ah, why the same? I'm typing letters. Can you see here like invalid login and password? Yeah, just like whiteboard. Generally, blackboard, white letters, but whiteboard, black letters because it's a, this is something special. IT training, right? <laughs> Right. So now, the reason for that issue is uh, 
invalid login and password. Okay, what is the error? Connection issue. And 18456 is the error message. That means while connecting to SQL server, user is not providing proper credentials. Credentials means what? Login name and password. Today you resolved this issue because we are discussing in the class, we will discuss this in the coming sessions. Part of our training. So you are, you are going to practice it. So the same solution you are going to implement there so that the ticket can be closed. After some time, you are getting same ticket from some other user or some other client, whatever it. Same resolution will be there. Am I right or not? It won't be changed. Whenever we are getting same issue, same resolution will be there. These are really, you know, key points. In this scenario, now this is what like a, a regular issue, not regular issue, general issue. Right, guys. Coming to next scenario now. I will give you some performance related issue. Why we need SQL Server development knowledge? So, for example, there is some other issue. Ticket only. Long running query. I mean, the query is taking long time for the execution. What is the reason behind that? See, there are multiple reasons. See, generally query is taking long time for the execution means multiple reasons are there. Hmm. So I will type something here, but index related issue, uh, sometimes network related issue. All right. Sometimes, you know, index means index fragmentation and sometimes blocking related issues, uh, sometimes resource related issues. These are common issues. But the thing is, for this long, long running query issue, there are multiple reasons. We'll see how to find out what is the, what is causing this long running query and how to find out them, how to resolve them. That and all we'll see. Don't worry about that. But now the thing is, do you know what is query? Because you are going to resolve this issue, right, guys? No. Why? Why I need query knowledge? Because I'm DBA. DBA. Queries knowledge is not required. Hmm? No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Because without queries knowledge, you are going to resolve the issue which is related to query. How it is possible? Tell me, how is it possible? Am I right or not? So, some part of the SQL queries knowledge is required for a DBA. That's why we are going to discuss those things in, in the same training. You no need to attend separate training for that. Okay. So, these things. Along with them, we are also working with some migration part. And simple thing. How to migrate database from on-prem to cloud. On-prem means what? Your local environment. Suppose your laptop is your on-prem database, on-prem environment. 
Suppose we are in, we are installing a SQL server in our laptop for practice purpose, and you are doing practice there. That is your on-premises environment, right? But we are not able to install SQL Server in our laptop. So I'm suggesting you to work with the cloud, practice in cloud environment, Azure cloud. That means you have to connect it to Azure portal. There you have to go for practice. So on-prem is different, cloud is different. On-prem, everything will be there in our local environment. Cloud, nothing will be there in our local environment. You just connect to your account in the cloud, Azure cloud. There, they will provide you complete infrastructure, everything. There, you just go and do your task and close it. That's all. So now, in this training, I'm going to show you how to migrate the databases from on-prem environment to cloud. How to migrate databases. Okay. So when we are doing this migration part, what are the steps we need to perform? Even that area also I'm going to show you in this training, guys. Okay. This is the key point for this training. This is this we can highlight here. If you add this point to your resume, you'll get a lot of calls, no doubt at all. No doubt at all. Okay, now? So these are really important scenarios. And coming to next case, see, configuration area. Because even yesterday's class also, I discussed only two points, configurations and uh, tickets. Coming to configuration area, what happens, you know, generally we configure the things in the environment, generally only, you know, this, this is kind of one-time activity, one-time one, one activity. I will give you an example. Now you are working with some project. You want to install SQL Server. Today you are installing. That's all. There ends the matter. Tomorrow again you are not going to install SQL Server. Am I right or not? Why we need? No need, right? But coming to tickets parted. Every day we are going to receive some tickets. So where you need to concentrate more, tell me now, tickets area. So that area is the key point of this training, highlighted point of this training. Just how many databases there, SP underscore databases. Huh? What is the size of the database, SP underscore space used? These are not required every day. They're quite basic things. Writing 10 commands. Why we need commands? Where we are going to use them regularly? Because we are a DBA, right? or not developer. That is simply waste of time, I feel. Just you can make it as a document and some place it in your laptop somewhere or your in your email. That's all. There ends the matter. No need to spend time on those trash things. Where you need to concentrate because you have to work in real time environment. You need to concentrate more on ticket area, real-time scenarios area. That is important for us. Got it? Everything should be practical oriented. I have around 20 years of experience. Not completely not related to DBA. Right, guys? but most of the scenarios related to DBA. So I'll provide you complete scenarios, real-time scenarios, whatever we are facing in our environment, everything I'll share. And even this area, this area also we are going to do here practically, migration work. Okay now? 
So this is the overall thing we are going to do. I here I added some new points today. Uh, Aman, <laughs> right? So yes, uh, let's do one thing. Wahid and Gopi, I think you joined late, right? Gopi, can you hear me? Mm, we are not able to hear you. Are. Send message, please. Right, yes. So that is the scenario overall. And tomorrow also we'll go for the class. Tomorrow I'll explain more related to initial practical things like, you know, installation related things that and all I'll cover in tomorrow's class. Monday onwards, we'll start with the installation part. That is the plan. Okay. Right. Any questions in today's class, please? Any questions, please? All right. So we'll meet tomorrow. Same time, same link. Monday onwards, we'll go for regular sessions. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, Yohida, tell me. She's asking something. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this course duration is five weeks, Yohida. 10,000 is the fee. Okay, now? And sir, uh, classes will be uh, only on uh, weekdays. Weekdays. Saturday, Sunday, no class will be there. But if you miss any class in weekdays, then that okay. we will cover on weekend. But that is um, as per our convenience only. Okay. And if someone miss the class, then... But recordings we will provide. If you go okay. through recordings, then uh, if you still get any questions, we will clear them. Uh so five weeks is the duration, right? Yes, correct, correct. Sometimes it may go to sixth week, <laughs> but not more than okay. that. Okay. So, uh, is there uh, any after course uh, means of placement assistance type? Is there any? Uh, that you please discuss with Durga Sapta team. Call them once, and they will explain the scenario. I think mostly that will not be there. Only training part they are providing. Okay. Oh. Talk to them once. We will give. We will provide model resumes and all. That's not a problem at all. Model resume. Yeah, yeah. Model resume, interview questions, everything will provide. Okay, so uh, interview question is uh, also you will be provided. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Soft copy material also provide. We are providing. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm uh, working in Accenture currently, but in uh, non tech. Okay, right. So I want to switch. Now, right? Yeah, yeah. And I want to switch to my career to non tech to tech as a DBA. Sure, sure. No problem. So, uh, so I want uh, something that uh, for my uh, experience, my previous experience is also counting uh, as a DBA. So I want something like that. Sure, sure. No problem. But only thing is, like, you have to do some hard work. Oh. Right? <laughs> okay. No problem. Uh, someone will help you. Okay? Oh, yes. Okay, then. Right, guys. See you tomorrow, then. Bye-bye. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye.